Thank you. It has been around four months since we told you the story of a mobile home title mishap. A Toledo woman bought a home last year and found that what her title says does not match what the county has on file, and that's caused a slew of headaches. Investigative reporter Kaylee Marantet joining us live in studio. She's been on top of this story. So where is this park? Well, Jeff, the sign in front says Toledo Mobile Home Park, but if you were to look up the address, it's Oak Grove Mobile Home Park. That's not the only answer we can't find here. Days and months have passed. Summer turned to late fall, and still no word for Lori Edwards. I believe they just made a big mistake, and I don't know how they're going to fix it. <laughs> Remember her? We brought you her story about her home title headache in July. The title's wrong. I can't sell that. Four months ago. They have not given me any title or anything. The home title documents she has now states she's living in a 1976 regent, but the Lucas County Estate website shows it's a 1997 Mansion Fiesta, a problem she's still dealing with. They're just letting me dangle and wait. And I, I can't do that. I need to move forward and they're presenting a good hardship on my life right now. Lori says her home needs repairs with the cold temperatures now seeping into her home. She looked to NeighborWorks Toledo region to get her home weatherized for winter, but there's a snag. They help the people with lower income acquire what they need to make their home stable. And without my title, they can't go forward. We talked to them today, and because of incorrect information on the title, they can't help until this is fixed. So this right here, my bathroom floor and my wall have separated, and I need the underneath to be reinforced. It's right there. See where it's falling down my bathtub? I need my ceiling coated and sealed properly because there's leaks. That's not good. I am. I'm a single mom raising four girls, 21 months almost in recovery. I need this assistance. Left in limbo with a home that isn't feeling so sweet. I just want to make my little corner of the world beautiful for me and my family. I don't, I don't want to rock the boat. I don't want to cause troubles. But that's what I got. Toledo Mobile Home Park or Toledo MHP LLC are listed as the previous owners of the home. That's what's on the title, but it's not clear who is responsible for the title heir, whether that's the park, the managing company or owners of the park. I spoke with an employee for Blank Family Communities, the company that manages the park, according to Edwards. He had no comment and still wouldn't give me a timetable for when this will be corrected. In studio, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL.